different agencies have different rules about how much deference or how close of a review an administrative law judge's decision should receive. In the Securities and Exchange Commission, for example, the Securities and Exchange Commissioners don't actually have to give any weight necessarily to the administrative law judge's decision. The Commission could just decide to do the opposite in a particular case. However, that is not all that frequent that that necessarily happens. It's also possible for an administrative law judge's decision to basically be given a rubber stamp of approval, a final stamp of approval by the Securities and Exchange Commission and permitted to go out the door as it was put together by the administrative law judge. But in the authority or the name of the Securities and Exchange Commission. So within each agency, there might be a difference based on how the, the statute or the law governing that agency is written, but uh, as, as to how much review an administrative law judge's decision should receive. In some agencies, the commission or the head of the agency can change the decision and do something totally different from scratch or decide the case in place of an ALJ. At certain times, some ALJ's decisions might get a little bit of deference or thumb on the scale in favor of some of the ALJ's determinations. But typically, at the end of the day, the head of the agency has to at least sign off on the ALJ decision that it was correct before it becomes the final decision of the agency in most cases. Even after that, um, typically a party can, if they don't like the way that the um, agency decided their case, can then challenge that decision within a federal court. The question becomes, if you go to a federal court, a lot of times federal courts under the law are supposed to give a lot of deference or weight to what the administrative agencies already determined on the facts or on policy decisions. And so a litigant is not necessarily getting a determination of their issue from scratch within the federal court, even though there is certainly review in the federal courts usually of administrative agency ALJ decisions.